So I got my Cavalier ripped apart. This is my all-year driver, my winter rat. And I, and I uh, trick it out with a nice DVD player. And I've had one in here for about 12 years. It was a Clarion. But I wanted to upgrade because these new ones are unbelievable, man. They got Bluetooth. They got your phone for Bluetooth and Spotify. And uh, you can, you know, dock your iPod and all that crap. So I was like, I got to get with the times in this car. So um, I found a way to get around this stupid parking brake issue. On the Clarion, all you had to do was ground that parking brake cable. Usually a green cable. On this one... They make you do some crap. I just bought this deck yesterday, and I'm finding all this crap out now. So they make you uh, do the parking brake on, off, on, or some shit like that. So what I did was I found out that you can um, hook up the blue, the blue and white remote wire, which is right here, that's coming from the Pioneer deck. I, I spliced a white wire into it, and I'm running it all the way over to the other side over here where I have this control over here this one it's the you know the light the inside the interior light and then the fog lights I don't need the fog light location because this is a I, I took this out of a junkyard because this dimmer switch wasn't working me be, for me before my model doesn't have fog lamps so it works out where I bought this switch for this pioneer deck to bypass and this switch fits nicely in here so anyway, you got three connections on it, earth, load, and supply. So all I did was, and I'm going to make this real simple because you got idiots on, on YouTube posting 20-minute videos to tell you a stupid couple things, and it, it's ridiculous and tiring. This purple and black one, I grounded it under the dash somewhere. So you just ground it on the chassis somewhere. So that's the ground, the earth. The middle one is the parking brake. Uh, cable from the Pioneer deck, that light green one. That's your load. The supply is your blue and white remote wire from the Pioneer deck as well, from that harness that they give you. So I bought this one that has the light on it. So what you do, so I'll turn on the deck. You got to always tap your phone screen to get it to come in focus. All right, so there it is. So now it's on DVD CD. So now see how I got that screen? I'm gonna see if I can view. Here's a switch on the bottom left of the screen, if you can see it. It detected my phone, now that's gone. So now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go on. Now it's got that screen on there. So you can see my lights on, on my switch. It's saying attention, video, front seat, video source, blah, blah, blah. Turn it off. Now look at the screen. And you got the OK button on there. Press OK. Bam! Beavis and Butthead, bitch. I'm out.